Hello everyone, my name is Ben Cogswell from Alien Animations. Um, today we're going to work on starting um, the Scar H that two people have requested. Well, one person has, some other people are just like, make a tutorial. Um, so, I've decided today I'm going to put that into action. Okay, so I'm going to add a background image, obviously, because that's what good people would do and uh, import your image and this is a picture that I found on Google as really high res which I like because I, I want my stuff to be high res okay I want to see all that detail in there and um, get rid of this default cube no one good uses a default cube unless you are doing really simple stuff but for today's purposes this is not very basic so we need to add a plane rotate no not rotate it in object mode One sec. okay uh, sorry about that anyways rotate it along X 90 degree in edit mode and uh, that's kind of important now in object mode move it over here over to this general area and rotate it, scale it down. Okay, now move this over there, move that over there, and let's add a mirror modifier. And I don't want it along the x axis, I want it along the y axis, and enable clipping. And uh, what the heck? It doesn't look like it's added a mirror modifier, but it says I have. So maybe I did something wrong. Uh, yep, I did. So we need to turn off clipping and move it away. Then enable clipping so that uh, we can extrude backwards like that and. Uh, should not be that difficult and move it over there and grab that one and move it over here and move that up there add a loop cut there a loop cut there and a loop cut there and extrude out and move it in Save us a bit of time. Move these out. Move them down. And no, I don't want to do that. We can do this in edit mode. Scale along Z, scale along X. By pressing X, Z, X, S, Z, S, X. Okay. Move those vertices around a bit. Make them look nice. Add another loop cut there by pressing Control R. And if you are really bad at memorizing stuff, which that's going to really suck for you because you need to memorize stuff in Blender because everything is using shortcuts. But if you don't like shortcuts, you can uh, go to Mesh. And should be along edges. Uh, control R. Where would that be? Loop cut. Loop cut, loop cut, loop cut. Anyways, well, it's around here. Edge ring. Edge loop. There we go. I think that was it. Where was that? Edge loop, edge ring? What is that? Okay, whatever. Anyways, it's a uh, control R, so I thought I knew where it was, but now I just ended up embarrassing myself. Ha <laughs> ha. If you want to make fun of me in that comment section, go right ahead. That, that, you, 
you deserve to make fun of me for there. Um, anyways, whatever. And um, just move those around a bit. And we're going to actually have to add a loop cut along there because you can see that little crease there. That, that might not sound like uh, very much detail, but uh, it's, it's important. So we also need to not collapse that and uh, add a subdivision surface. Okay. Sharpen these uh, up a bit. Right there. And also sharpen that up a bit. Maybe that's a bit too much. Add one loop cut there. Okay. All right. That's looking good. Alt to select a ring, and then. Um, we're going to close this off by just pressing F. And that uh, should do the job. And also add two loop cuts there by uh, pressing Control R, as we talked about before, and then scrolling your mouse wheel. And you can add a whole crap load if you want, but I don't want a whole crap load right now. So, yeah, just like that. And uh, that's. Looking all right, but we can make it better by adding a loop cut right there. And I'll sharpen up around there. Okay. And move those over a bit. Okay. Now we want to extrude. Actually, I want to add a loop cut there. Deselect these bad boys. That's a B and then middle mouse button. And if we put our 3D cursor right there and then press period, let's scale from there. Now let's uh, right there, scale. Actually, only scale along X. And rotate it a bit. Is that, uh, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Okay, that's good. Um, that was kind of a waste of time, but whatever. Anyways, now we need to extrude up. And you'll see what I'm actually... You know, let's go back a bit. Control Z. Let's take go back. I don't want to add those. That'll be fine. Uh, let's just go up and scale along Z down to zero. Move these vertices over there. Grab that face. Extrude. Scale along X down to zero. We don't want that face because it's just in the way and um, excuse me just had a little burp there <laughs> whatever and um, just kind of get that right that's not right there that's probably good okay now extrude once more and let's loop cut there. That's Z to go into wireframe. Uh, a couple more loops there. And one there. And one there. And let's move that up. Okay. Now let's extrude in. Move it in. And grab that one there, move that one in, and now press A, remove doubles. Now it should be all good. We should have all faces because that is a face there. 
even though it looks like it's a vertice, uh, not a vertice. <laughs> it looks like it's a triangle, but it's actually uh, a quad, which is what you want. But uh, it's kind of different topology because it's it's that my count kind of getting in the way of things. But we're we're done modeling. The handle for now. So let's just shade that smooth and uh, we'll be done with the handle for now. You know what? Actually, it looks really thin. Let's just scale that up a bit. Now it looks like you could grab onto that and shoot some bullets. Okay, so now you want to save it, and I've already made a whole bunch of tutorials, but they all were really bad recording. So I'm just going to save over that. Alright, uh, see you guys another time.